Hey guys, Johnny the Toy Maker here. I'm going to review the Legendary Megazord and the five Super Megazords that make up the Legendary Megazord. If I talk a little bit fast, it's only because I want to review everything in a short amount of time. And because there are five vehicles, I don't want to take 20 minutes reviewing, reviewing them. So, here I go. This is the Red Ranger's primary Zord in Power Ranger Super Mega Force. It's called the Super Mega Skyship Zord, and it's basically a flying pirate ship. I was really amazed with how this came out. I've never made like a pirate ship or any kind of nautical vessel before in my standards, in the way that I make my art. So to see how it came out, I was just astounded as I always am. So here's the top of the ship. Here's the sail with the Super Mega Force logo. Now it resembles a skull and crossbones but it's actually a key with two swords. And to know what you know what that's about you have to watch the show. So it's got more of the symbol and it's got wings two bottom ones, two top ones, a sail here, a sail here, and a sail here. It's got cannons all around the ship, including these cannons here. Then on the bottom of the ship, you've got a dial which re resembles a compass. And then the back of the ship, these are thrusters, and they also become the thighs of the legendary Megazord. Now, at the end of the video, I will discuss the gimmicks that each of these vehicles have. But next, onto the Green Ranger's primary Zord, which is called the Super Mega Racer Zord, and it's modeled after a race car. So you've got the Zord, the wheels, the Super Mega Force symbol. Now the engine is also the fist, as this becomes the arm of the legendary Megazord. And this is the left arm of the Megazord. That's the cockpit. That's the bottom of the car. Nice detail. I like how this came out. Hell, I like how they all came out. I'm biased, sue me. Now this is the Blue Ranger's primary Zord, and it's called the Super Mega Jet Zord. And it's modeled after a fighter jet. So here, you've got the cockpit, the Super Mega Force symbol, the wings, and then you've got this crown looking thing, which are also wings. And that becomes the head or the helmet of the legendary Megazord. You've got the bottom and the back. Now onto the Yellow Ranger's primary Zord. This is a tractor trailer and it's called the Super Mega Wheeler Zord. Wheeler. W-H-E-E-L-E-R the Super Mega Force symbol. Now notice the front of the Zord looks like a treasure chest because it's a pirate theme. Get it? And that's the cockpit, the wheels, and then the top. Now this becomes the left leg of the legendary Megazord. Now, onto the final Zord. You've got the Pink Ranger Submarine Zord, and it's called the Super Mega Sub Zord. As I said, it's a submarine, so it can go underwater and it can fly. Well, actually, all aquatic Zords and Power Rangers can fly when they need to. And then people ask, well, how can it fly if it's a 
a marine zord. It does that. Sometimes, you know, there's no water around, so you gotta travel another way. You gotta fly. Don't question the rules. This is how it is. <laughs> so you got the Super Mega Force symbol. You got the main cockpit up here. The crow's nest. Well, um, is it called a crow's nest on a submarine? Because I know it's called a crow's nest on a ship. Uh, anyway, so you've got the front of the Zord right here. It looks like a mouth, but it's actually not a mouth. You've got an anchor that I painted on. This is the green nail polish that Renee gave me. Thank you, Renee. This is like the third toy that I've used it on. Got the back and then the bottom. Now, I'm going to transform the Zords into the legendary Megazord. Here I go. Alright, so you gotta take that out. Fold these in. I'm gonna make sure I get it all in the camera. Then you gotta fold these down. And open this up. To reveal a head. Now he's ready. Super Mega Jet. The crown pops off. The wings fold down. And he's ready. Super Mega Racer. The wheels fold down. On the back. And then the fist pops out. He's ready. Now before I transform the yellow and pink, I'm going to attach these to the ship and you'll start to see a robot. That goes there. The left arm. And this goes here. The right arm. And the crown that popped off the jet, that becomes the helmet or the hat. Alright, let's put him down. And for the last two, it's just simple transformation. Just stand it up. So, show it on camera. This opens out. Alright, now switch positions. The pink Zord becomes the right leg, and the yellow Zord becomes the left leg. And there you have it. The legendary Megazord. Now this is a powerful, powerful Megazord. And I'll show you the gimmicks that I was talking about in the beginning of the video. But before I get to the gimmicks, let me show you what the, what the front of the pirate ship becomes. It becomes twin sabers for the Megazord to hold. So that goes there. Actually, let me switch that. That goes there. And that goes there. Alright, so I just mentioned that the legendary Megazord is very powerful. I will show you how powerful. In addition to the main twin sabers that it has, twin cutlass swords. It's got, I think these are rockets right here and right here. And it's also got some in the helmet right there and right there. Uh, both of the hands have energy blasters, one here and right there. And in addition to that, the entire Megazord is one big weapon, and I'll show you what I mean. Let me take out the swords. Try to get this on camera. I'm going to put down the camera so I can show you. 
each Zord has a door compartment that opens up. One, two, and within the four Zords, the blue, green, pink, and yellow, you'll find cannon balls inside. I didn't actually make the cannon balls, but on the show, that's what'll happen. And the cannon balls feed up from the Zords into the main chest, where out pops a cannon. And then, you know what happens next. I'm such a kid. But there you have it, the legendary Megazord and its powerful gimmicks. So this took me five and a half months to make. Let me prop it up with something. So, this took me five and a half months to make. Megazords don't usually take that long. They usually take about two months. Um, it took me that long because I was busy with a lot. I was working on commissions. I was tired. I was sick and just struggling. And I wanted to get this done because this was the last project in Project Super Mega Force. And I finally finished it. You know, when you're an artist, you have to work. You have to constantly work. And I'm always busy and, you know, sometimes people in my life, they get angry because they don't hear from me. It's for a good reason, you know. I'm not just laying on my ass doing nothing. I'm very busy. Imagine coming home every day to work on this for the last five months. That's what keeps me busy. This is my life. This has always been my life. So I just wanted to showcase this and just show you all out there that this is what I do. This is what I do, this is what I've been doing, and this is what I will always do. It's always been part of me, and it always will be. This is my second review video. I've wanted to take this for a while, and I'm glad I finally did it. Just amazing. Put that down a little bit. So, currently I'm working on the Dino Charge Power Rangers. I'm finishing up the Black Ranger tonight. Then I have two more to go, blue and red. And then after those two, I'm going to start the Dino Charge Megazord. Which is that beast right there. And he's going to be fun to make. So I can't wait to start that. Well, you know what I always say at the end of these videos. Johnny the Toymaker here. Signing out. Bye.